Hi folks, this one's a little wishy-washy, but I decided to show it because everybody knows, or at least about the myth of the Black Knight satellite, and I have never really seen any uh, ISS go near this thing or anything else, so it's just kind of creeping out there in space. This is obviously a scientific rendering, a three-dimensional rendering on a computer. To me, you know what this looks like? Any of you gamers out there, you want to know what this looks like? This looks like the uh, Star Fox um, ship, the main one, the mothership. Take this one with a grain of salt, but I'm running anyways. July 10, 2015, the intriguing video was probably smuggled out of Russian Federation Space Agency. Eh, I'm pretty sure they're not going to show the video, so who cares anyways. By someone who wanted the truth there. NASA would never have released such a video to be... Well, NASA has nothing to do with the Russian Federation, so I don't know what they're talking about here. But evidently there was a video that was probably smuggled out of Russia, the Russian Space Agency, by someone who wanted the truth to be out there. Yada, yada, yada. They just said that. Okay, so basically what it says is... Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go. The video in question was short by Russian cosmonauts. The International Space Station is a lower right screen. We can see the Progress cargo ship slowly approaching the station when an unusual shape becomes visible. The strange object draws closer. It becomes obvious that it wasn't made by man. Well, that's not true. It could be a satellite or something. We've never built any craft of that particular shape. It doesn't, however, resemble an infamous Black Knight satellite. I don't believe this, folks, one bit. But here is the object in question. Um, I don't know about this, folks. I would imagine if this thing was actually moving like it was supposed to had, that we would have shot it out of the sky. That's just what I believe. Of course, unless our higher-ups know about it and know that it's just a satellite of some sort. But concerned researchers suspected the existence of an alien satellite orbiting Earth since about 1954. Three years before the launch, the first man-made satellite, Sputnik 1, in fact, observers suggested not one, but two of these watchers are orbiting high above. 1960, the United States Department of Defense had recognized this presence. During humanity's first global flights, the Black Knight made its appearance and was allegedly seen by Gordon Cooper on the last day of his mission. Reports continue sporadically throughout the next decade until Scottish astronomer and writer Duncan Lunan brought it back to to attention. All right, let me go ahead and show you what they think that this is. Oh, hey, they do have the video. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show it, if it's allowed. Disclosed.tv might not allow this, but there's nothing on here saying I can't use part of this. All right, that's not the Black Knight. And then out of the darkness comes this strange thing. Uh, you know, what the hell is this thing? Uh, it's obviously something that uh, There's the website. Wants us to know about. Uh, I could not locate Son of anywhere, any other uh, photo or I to uh, show you what uh, this object looks like. Uh, hear what you guys think about this. That we're not allowed to see. Take care. Alright, now before I go into this, let me just go to Bing Images and show you what the Black Knight satellite supposedly looks like. I wonder why nobody from the space station has ever tried to actually dock on this thing if it is as real as they say it is. I mean, I would imagine. There's all kinds of surveillance around. Okay, here's what this thing supposedly looks like, folks. Okay, these are supposed to be 
of the best images that we can see. Okay. So these are the height. Now this one here, this one's bad. Best of my knowledge, this one's a 3D rendering. This one here is probably the best that they can show. Uh, this one here is good. This one here shows an inverted picture. So it does kind of look like what they were showing. To me, it doesn't look like a satellite. What it looks like is a jetpack. It does look like a jetpack. Here, you can actually see kind of an afterburner. Um, it looks like an advanced plane is what it looks like. I'm not so sure any of these are really majorly uh, available. I mean, here's an enlarged version. Here's one up close, supposedly. Here's one out there. I'm not even beginning to be certain this is anything but a rendering, obviously. Here is a space station viewing the Black Knight. Now, the funny thing about this photo, of course, if you look at it, is the question, who the heck is photographing the space shuttle, rather, uh, photoing the Black Knight? And if you look right here, ladies and gentlemen, it kind of looks like there's a U.S. Air Force symbol here. I mean, you kind of look right there. So I imagine there it could be one of those projects. You can call it whatever you want, Orion. I don't care. This is supposedly a picture of, of it up front. I'll zoom in on this because this one actually seems like it's the one of the better. So that's what they think they saw hovering next to the ISS. Uh, grain of salt. I would think if that thing was getting close, there would be some kind of a laser system or something they could use on the ISS to basically push that satellite off its orbit uh, one way or another. I know the ISS is made to be a phony baloney research lab and everything. It's not really supposedly equipped with weapons and stuff, but from what I do understand, it does have some, uh, d some defense capability for like... Uh, asteroids and stuff like that. Um, I heard that back in the 90s. I don't know if that's true and to what capability and how many you know watts of power, if it's in the thousands or the milliwatts of power that it actually has a, I believe it's a laser system is what I believe it is. Because I believe the ISS not only is run on a uh, solar power, but it is also run um, I believe it has a nuclear generator on board for special services for a backup. I'm not certain. Don't quote me on it, but I'd like to know whether or not that's true. Obviously, you and I aren't going to know the official version of this, but the Black Knight satellite supposedly did come close to the ISS. It is what it is. I still think it's a U.S. government project um, or one of our allies in space. It is what it is.